psych evaluation on Max stabbing suspect Jeremy Christian that was just released. The assessment claims that Christian, accused of two murders on a train, was not driven by white supremacist views and that he was simply on autopilot. Our Andrew Dimbert is breaking down the strongest single yet of his possible defense strategy in court. Not guilty of anything but defending myself. It's a first look into the mind of Jeremy Christian and perhaps his upcoming defense. What was going on in his mind, what he was thinking, what, if any, again, defects or abnormal features were in his mind. In a newly released psych eval, the psychologist documented Christian's view on reality, saying, quote, he, Christian, described that he had plans to amass a sufficient comic book collection that he could sell for $10,000. With this money, he would immigrate to Brazil and live among the aboriginal tribe on the Amazon. But a local mental health specialist says Christian's troubles are no excuse for murder. I've dealt with many people who would have what the psychologist said, a socialization disorder with very difficult um, adjustment to socialization and anxiety that happens and creating irrational behavior. And none of them have ever committed murder. The psychological assessment was originally conducted for Christian's bail request, which was denied. But as criminal defense attorney Kevin Solly, who is not on this case, but an expert on the matter, points out, the defense might be looking at the bigger picture. Even uh, during the, the guilty or not guilty phase of the trial, they would be laying the groundwork for the ultimate penalty arguments that they would be making. It's unclear how the prosecution tends to try this case. Aggravated murder in Oregon could carry the death penalty, which is why Christian's mental health capacity could also weigh heavily on how the state chooses to proceed. Meanwhile, the report also claims Christian did not know those two teenage girls, one wearing a hijab, believed to have been at the center of his racist rant on that train that fateful day, leading to two men defending them with their lives. The psychologist claims Christian was on, quote, autopilot. Given that this is largely going to turn on what this defendant was thinking and why he did what he did and what sorts of things have been in his mind, not just then but previously, uh, it, 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 it wouldn't surprise me if this was something that was kind of laying the groundwork for something that's to come in the future. Andrew Dimbert in Portland for Coin6 News.